Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I'm riding my e-bike and uh, I'm taking my, on my back in my backpack I've got my Mavic Air 2. I'm gonna ride about five miles to uh, where I can take the drone off and also I want to see if I can figure out someplace how I can get my bike down into the base of the, of the Queen Creek which has always been a challenge to me. So <clears throat> I'll have to ride about five miles and then we'll do some exploring because uh, I'll probably end up uh, not, a not able to get to the bottom of it, although some people do. So here I'm getting started and I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of boring stuff. But uh, this next shot is where I got to uh, the, the place where it go actually the, the road goes across the Queen Creek. So right here, the, the, uh, we're going across the Queen Creek Bridge right there. And that's, this is the west end of the uh, Queen Creek Wash. And of course, uh, I'm going as fast as I can. I've got it in uh, uh, pedal assist four, pedaling as hard as I can to keep up with the 45 mile an hour traffic until I can get up here and turn to the right. So <clears throat> I looked in my mirror and I couldn't see very many cars coming. And so I actually uh, only got caught up with one before I got to a safe place. <laughs> So anyhow, I'm going to turn into this, uh, this neighborhood and then go to the back end of the neighborhood, which is going to be located at the east end of the Queen Creek Wash. And so this is the road that, uh, at, in times past, this road was, they had a, a bridge over the Queen Creek Wash, or over Queen Creek, and... Uh, this road uh, was uh, part of that and I've got videos on that I've got a lot of videos on the uh, on the Queen Creek and here I got to a very difficult part I was thinking maybe on my on my regular bike uh, I have to push it through here and I thought maybe I could go through with my with my e-bike but I decided against that because as you can see if I made a mistake I'd be down in that little gully along with all the trash so I just pushed my bike around, and which was a wise choice. But this uh, e-bike is really, uh, I'm having fun with it. And of course, most of my rides are on these kind of roads because that's where I live. <laughs> and so, and I don't like to be out in the heavy traffic. So I got it over the, uh, I got it through the gate. And of course, I'm not supposed to be here according to everything. So we're going to go down here. <clears throat> and as you can see, the other side of the uh, Queen Creek, there's the cement plant that uh, I've made lots of videos of. And uh, it's closed now, and I don't know exactly why, but uh, that's, not, that's just the way it is. So we're going to go down here, and uh, I think we're going to have to go over a whoop to do, which I forgot all about the fact that th uh, they've got the dirt piled across there trying to block it so people can't get in there. So here's the whoop de doo and my <laughs> my my uh, Rad Rover e-bike did just fine. And straight ahead is the uh, eastern end of the Queen Creek Wash, and it's just a great big hole in the ground that they've created, so that water can accumulate there when the snow melts in the winter time, and when uh, when there's flash floods. So here I've taken the camera off of the front of the bike and I'm gingerly going down this dirt path. <clears throat> now, I took my, my regular bike, I took it down here because it's pretty light and I could get it back up again. But <clears throat> this is a lot steeper than, than the video makes it look. So I'm coming down there very gently, gingerly, and off to the right, that's my one of my favorite flying spots, that's the Queen Creek Wash. And I'm hoping that this, this path will lead, uh, turn to the left here, and lead back into the area uh, where maybe I could ride my, my bike in and find places to take off from and so forth. But as it turns out, uh, the path ends right over there at that bush. So this area right here is where the water rushes through in a deadly fashion in the wintertime. So I put the camera back on the bike and uh, instead of going down the path, there's a path that goes up, and I'm going to go up there and explore it. Now, 
The Rad Rover has a button on the handle where on the left side, where if you've got to go, if you've got to push it up a hill, you hold that button down, and the motor does most of the pushing. When I got to the very top, I helped a little bit, but uh, to begin with, I didn't didn't need to help. So <clears throat> that was kind of a nice thing. And of course, it's, when you get up here, you see that there's nothing to do except turn around and go, go back down again. But I turned my bike around and I decided, okay, let's just go fly the drone and see what it's like because I've never flown the drone up uh, the eastern end of this uh, of this uh, creek. So uh, I took the, took the drone off and of course I'm filming it with the, with the camera on the bike and I'm filming the bike with the camera on the drone. And so there's, uh, there's my bike, uh, which I'm very happy with, and, uh, and my drone, which I'm very happy with. Hadn't flown it for a while, so I thought I should probably take it out. And uh, so let's just go for a drone flight, and we'll come out here, and there's that big gully that you see there. That's where the water comes rushing through in the winter time, and you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to be down there because it's deep. Um, when you when I first made videos of uh, of the water rushing uh, about four years ago, when I started taking pictures or videos down here, I didn't realize how deep it was and how much water was flowing. It just looked like a little creek, but uh, <clears throat> the water down in that in that gully right there is going to be probably eight ten feet deep as it comes rushing through there. So. Uh, I think maybe this winter, uh, when the water's rushing through there, I'll just come back to this spot and see if I can get some good videos of that. And of course, I have to do a drony shot of me and my Rad Rover. Um, smiling. <laughs> All right, so that covers the drony, the drony shots. But uh, you can see they've got a whole bunch of uh, huge rocks to uh, prevent the, if there is a real heavy rain or uh, a melt, then they, they have forced the, the water from uh, going anywhere except through, through the gully here. And of course, if you uh, check some of my previous videos, uh, if you can do a Queen Creek search on my channel, you'll see where I've uh, made videos uh, from down there, taking my drone off and and uh, taking a picture of me standing down there, and makes me look pretty small, because this is a lot bigger than <laughs> than it first appears. So I'm turning around here and uh, going to try to uh, see if I can follow this uh, follow the uh, the creek as it travels up uh, up to the uh, the eastern uh, end of this section right here. So I'll zoom in a little bit and uh, you can see kind of like what, what it looks like as we go along. Uh, <clears throat> about a mile east of here is the concrete plant that I was taking videos of a couple weeks ago with my, with my Mini 2. And uh, so you, uh, maybe I'll put some links to those or uh, something, but uh, that I'd like to, <laughs> I'm a kind of a nut. I like to film the concrete plants while they're filling up <clears throat> concrete trucks, cement trucks, or whatever you call them. So anyway, this is where the water would come rushing through. And um, uh, like I said, this winter, I hope to be able to come do this very same flight when there's water just uh, pouring through there. Right now, it looks pretty, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty harmless and uh, pretty dry. But it is the end of a hot summer. We had a real extremely hot summer and uh, for a long, long period of time. And uh, it broke records in the Phoenix uh, area, uh, which is where we live. We live 40 miles south of Phoenix. And it broke all kinds of heat records that had never been reached uh, before. So we had a it was uh, not a very pleasant summer with all that. I mean, it was 110 degrees plus many, many days, many days in a row, and uh, made it very difficult to enjoy going outside. Well, here I'm, I'm swinging around in the upper left-hand corner. I believe that's where the, where the creek actually flows and uh, goes where those, uh, 
uh, those uh, gold-colored trees are. I think it flows along there. I think that's uh, where it, where the gully is. But you can't tell, actually, so um, you, know, you kind of see it. But And then further up there, <clears throat> the water that's in that pond that you see in the upper right-hand corner, that's water that's left over from last winter. And because it fills up that pond first, and then it flows through the uh, through the gully here, and fills up the the Queen Creek Wash, which is uh, w where I took off from. I took off from the eastern end of it. And there's uh, all the, all the equipment that over there uh, at the top. That's uh, the cement plant that I used to take uh, videos of, but it's now closed. And uh, I don't know why it's closed, but it is closed. And I think this path where you see where people have been. Uh, riding their quads and stuff, and motorcycles. Um, I think that's actually where the where the main flow comes through, or maybe just to the left of that. But it's in this general area, and <clears throat> uh, y you know people get down in there. But uh, I don't want to get down in there and not be able to get back out. And at the other end, they have a gate. Uh, I already checked that out. Uh, uh, the road that's up there at the other end. I rode down that, and I took a look down this uh, down this area, and uh, that concrete, uh, uh, what do you call it, whatever guides the water down. Uh, I went over to the edge of that and looked down it, but they have they have a gate there, a metal gate, and if I was to try to get my um, sixteen hundred dollar Rad Rover bike through that gate, it might just slip into slip into the canal. So I'm coming up the uh, the canal here, and uh, wanted to go take a look at the at the concrete. Now on the other side of that road, I've already got a video made, which I took with the uh, with the my new Mini 2, and I uh, took that if, uh, from uh, from the other side of the of that road, and just rode my bike down a dirt path next to a canal. And so you can see here they're apparently filling up this uh, this uh, cement truck, and uh, <laughs> it's uh, it, to me it's interesting. I don't know, probably you know you can you can forget about this if you want, but it's fun for me to uh, to see how they do this stuff. I've always been interested in that, and I know there's some other folks who have mentioned who watch my channel too that. Uh, that enjoy watching those kind of things. And you can see there uh, to the upper right, they've, they're dumping uh, material into those bins and that material is coming up a, a uh, belt, a, a conveyor belt, and it's coming out of those bins down at the bottom. And so they're, whatever, they're, whatever kind of concrete they're, concrete they're trying to mix up, um, that's uh, that's how they they can come up with different kind different uh, to meet different needs and so forth. And here it looks like I've just got a jerky video editor because I don't think I don't think the drone did that. That's that's a yaw in the drone. So anyway, there's the concrete plant, and uh, it's time for the drone to come back home. And pretty soon I'll have to head home too. And so uh, we'll, we'll bring the drone in and land it and uh, we'll get on the bike and I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of just a little bit of my trip home and uh, because it was it was kind of interesting. And if you don't have an e-bike, I, I imagine it's not as interesting, but for those of you who have them, um, uh, it's kind it, you know it's kind of interesting. And of course I'm just having fun here. Now here, I'm holding the front front brake and walking it down the, the hill that I used the motor to uh, assist me pushing it up. I'm trying not to slip, trying to keep the, the bike from sliding down the hill. And of course, it, it was not a big deal. I made it okay. And uh, I had a lot of fun flying my drone. I packed up everything. And uh, so, I'm on my way home, and by the way, it was uh, it was a fun ride, and uh, I got worn out on the way. So here we go back through the whoop de doo again. Now this could make you sick, so you might want to close your eyes as I go over the whoop de doo because it is kind of a uh, I don't know a brain teaser, I guess you'd say. 
And then I didn't want to have to, I, I found something up here that made it so I didn't have to go through that yellow gate again. Somebody has set up a, uh, some kind of a thing to cross this little drainage uh, ditch. And that was pretty easy. I just rode across that and uh, took my, my, uh, my leave without having to go down that dirt road and uh, through that yellow gate. So now I just have to remember how to get here next time. Uh, and I think I got that figured out. Well, here I am. I'm coming home. And uh, I'm pretty tired by now, but I'm not wore out. And that's, that's the reason uh, I really like this e-bike. But uh, I'm coming in, and there's my sweetie over there. She's going to greet me because she's been waiting for me to get back. She was a little concerned. It took me so long to do what I did. But uh, I'm home. I had a good time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless.